Hello everyone, this is Stephen Clark with the latest and greatest from Thailand. Well, some of it anyway. Okay, today we'll have a look at why Indians will dominate the Thailand tourist industry. The big packer and what their effect is having in Bali, Indonesia. And will it come to Thailand? Pakistanis, 48 illegal Pakistanis rounded up in Thailand raid. And a swing in Siam land. Yes, it's happening. Thai government exempts marijuana use for medical purposes from prosecution. But first up, the Indians are on the way. Here is why Indians will dominate Thailand's tourism. Tourism in Thailand. Indians are increasingly contributing to the growth of Thailand's tourism economy as the Chinese tourists' numbers have been dwindling according to reports. While Chinese tourists have decreased, bookings from Indians have multiplied. Now Thailand places huge importance on its tourism sector, which is reported to account for 20% of its national gross domestic products. Chinese tourists have contributed a lot to the Thai tourist industry economy at the rate of about 10% a year. But unfortunately, there was a boating accident that killed 47 Chinese nationals in 2018. But unreported is, the boat was built by the Chinese. The boat also was run by the Chinese completely. The Chinese were told by the Port Authorities of Thailand not to take that boat out under any circumstances as the weather was too bad. 47 Chinese nationals in 2018 slowed the economy. This took a devastating effect on the Chinese tourist industry in Thailand. Unfortunately, there was an incident at customs. Thai airport security guard punched a Chinese tourist in the face for not being cooperative, which went viral throughout China. This did not help at all as well. The Chinese tourist said he couldn't understand the customs card handed to him on the airplane, didn't know what it meant, and became frustrated. I can't understand that, it's quite easy to read. Also, a slowing of the Chinese economy on the mainland has slowed the uh, Chinese tourists as well. The Indians now are driving the tourist industry growth in uh, Thailand as the Chinese previously did. More than 10 million Indian tourists are expected to arrive in Thailand in 2028 in 10 years time, which is around fivefold of the number in 2018. Ooh, that's a lot of Indians. The growth is said to be uh, quite similar to the Chinese tourist growth. But as the Thailand uh, tourist industry has learned not to rely on one type of tourist, which was the Chinese, as they could pull out and things become unpopular at any time. Now the Thailand tourist industry has learned not to depend on any particular tourist race, which is a good thing for Thailand, I think. Anyway. So now it's goodbye yellow flags from the Chinese and hello India. Curry in a hurry. And this is all excellent news for the English. Now they can come to Thailand and feel right at home. The Beg Packer. Anger is Western backpackers beg locals for money to fund their travels throughout Southeast Asia, including Thailand. Oh, this is a good one. I like this one. Bali has cracked down on problematic Australians, British and Russian backpackers who beg in the streets asking for locals to pay for their travels. The Popular Island Immigration Department said the holidaymakers dubbed as Beg Packers are either Australian, British or Russian. However, immigration officials say they are unlikely to be deported unless they have committed criminal offences. Other big packers have been uh, spotted busking in the streets with guitars and other instruments. That would be wonderful to see on your holiday in Bali or in Thailand or anywhere in Southeast Asia. Westerners begging for money in Asia. Wonderful. Very nice. Hope the trend doesn't start in Thailand. Or is it there already on YouTube? I think we've seen a small sample of what's to come. Korean TV crew 
and a Korean actress snuck out to plunder Thai clams. Claims. What? Actress Lee Yol Um cheers as she caught the three giant shellfish in a Thai National Marine Park. Sea resources in the Chat Chai Mao cannot be caught, hunted, or cooked, and the cast crew were fully aware of this. That's because the park firmly informed them of the park's restrictions before they began filming. The uh, marine park is in the southern Thai province of Trang, 670 kilometers south of Bangkok, or 420 miles if you like. A South Korean broadcaster and its Thai fixers are accused of knowingly violating the terms of their shooting permit to film contestants hunting and eating protected giant clams in Thailand. They secretly piloted their boat outside the agreed upon the shooting area to dive for the clams, according to the Thai authorities. Now, this incident has triggered an angry reaction amongst international users, especially amongst the South Koreans, who have called for the show to be cancelled. And so it should be, actually. I mean, we don't go to their country and start nibbling on their dolphins. 48 illegal Pakistanis rounded up in Bangkok raid. Children were amongst 48 national Pakistanis illegal in Thailand this week were picked up in an apartment in Bangna district. Most of them had overstayed their visas while several didn't have any travel documents at all. No visa, no nothing. An immigration official told the media some of the overstayers had entered Thailand as early as 2013. Police believe eight of the suspects were not successful in applying for refugee status in Thailand. The Immigration Police Bureau will now contact the Social Development and Human Resources Ministry as well as Refugee Advocate Organisation to help screen the 48 Pakistanis, check for signs of human trafficking and ensure they are placed in safe environment, which is great because there's uh, children involved. Um, there's quite a lot of... Uh, uh, illegal Pakistanis in Thailand. Um, it's unfortunate, um, but uh, that's the way it is. In, in well, when I was in Bangkok, I, I met quite a few illegal uh, aliens, uh, Pakistanis, but uh, and they weren't living really well. I mean, a lot of bars you go to and stuff, you'll see um, uh, Pakistani male and female uh, selling peanuts and so forth. So. You know, I always used to try and buy off them. Um, they've got no resources to live with. So bear that in mind, okay? So maybe uh, next time you're in a bar or a restaurant and uh, some Pakistani comes up to you and asks you if you like to buy some peanuts or whatever, or a Pakistani girl asks you to buy some flowers, perhaps maybe buy them off them, because um, I think they go to a good cause, supporting their family. Thailand has decided to go back to the 70s. <laughs> Exempt marijuana use for medical purposes from prosecution. Amendments to the narcotics law by the National Legislative Assembly on December 28, 2018 exempts marijuana use for medical purposes from prosecution. Just recently, the FDA defended its draft regulations for the licensing and advertising of marijuana-based medication, saying that the regulations are, were not designed to benefit large foreign pharmaceutical companies. That's uh, what they're saying is they don't want people investing and advertising that they're growing marijuana on the television, you know. One of uh, Thailand's uh, biggest bands, uh, Harty criticised the Public Health Ministry for blocking more widespread use of marijuana as medication. Willie Nelson would love that if he was still alive. Farmer, held for growing pot. Man was arrested for possessing 2,000 marijuana plants and 4,000 seedlings after police raided his oil plantation in Champon province, Thai Sa district yesterday. Yeah, starting already, isn't it? Okay, I'm off to the hospital to have a joint. 
only have one thing to add. Keep off the grass. Ha, ha, ha.